Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition and today's video is gonna be your um, end of September general reading. It's not gonna be geared towards one thing or another. I'm just gonna shuffle the cards and see what comes up. Um, thank you guys so much for all of your support and your subscribes and shares and your sweet comments and liking my videos. I really appreciate all of you guys' support. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all that. Um, so let's just get right into it. This is for um, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the end of September. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. got a new microphone so I hope you guys can hear me a little bit better I had a mini burp sorry <laughs> excuse me all right Libra what's going on with Libra end of September heading into October what messages do we have for Libra? Wow, beautiful way to start the reading, you guys, and wrap up the month. I love this. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a water sign, but I'm feeling like... And you know, this doesn't have to be romantic. This doesn't mean that you have to be falling in love with somebody, but for a lot of you, you could be. You could be meeting um, someone that is extremely special, that's been sent here from, um, from above with that angel, with that red angel with the beautiful wings. Um, you know, you guys could be definitely meeting someone here at the end of the month going into October. Someone that's truly special that you just want to spend so much time with. Someone that you get along with. Someone that really sees you for who you are, Libra, which I know is extremely important for you. Um, wow, this is beautiful energy. And for those of you who are not trying to get into a relationship and you're not on that journey, um, Two of Cups also means bringing a cup back to yourself. Like you finding um, a love for yourself. You're able to fill up your own cup and, to, and make sure that your own, uh, your own needs are being taken care of. You know, for those of you who are wanting to be single, this can go either way. But for a lot of you, I am seeing that you're gonna meet someone really, really special. And for another group of you, um, this person you already know, and it's someone you've had your eye on, and you've, you've, I feel like you've really taken it slow with this person, but here in the next couple of, um, of weeks, I'm seeing that you guys are really gonna start forming a really sweet bond together, and you might like go out for coffee, or you might go out um, and just do something really simple together, like, um, yeah, just like going out for coffee and really just enjoying each other's time, you know, and just having like a really like sweet heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Another two. All right, two of swords wanted to come out. So yeah, there's a decision that you guys are trying to make. Obviously, it could be about this person in the two of cups. Um, but there's something that you guys aren't seeing about this, which is, again, why I was feeling like you've really, really taken your time with this person. Um, and I don't feel anything negative. I just feel like for a lot of you, this person um, that is coming into your life or that you're like slowly making this connection with, you're taking your sweet time because it feels extremely, extremely important to you. Two and two is four. Four talks about a happy home or really just about the home, your structure. But I'm just hearing happy home. You guys... But with the Two of Swords here, there is some kind of decision that you need to make. 
Um, it could be a decision that you need to make about yourself or about this other person. Please remember these are general readings, so whatever that means to you. Like, I feel like you're either making a decision soon of like making a move, like taking the next step with this person, or, or you're gonna be making a decision to really um, showcase your feelings and tell them how you really feel. All right, the next two cards out, you guys. You guys got the sun and the five of pentacles. The sun came up in reverse. The sun goes under the two of cups. So with the five of pentacles, you know, you guys could be feeling like recently you've been alone or feeling that alone feeling of, you know, being pushed out in the cold, being... Um, feeling like you don't have anybody, feeling it's just like that very alone feeling. Even if you're surrounded by a lot of people like throughout your day, um, some of you guys are definitely just feeling that like, I just feel so alone. Even if you're in a room of a hundred people, um, you know, you could definitely be feeling alone. But there's no reason to feel that way because you've got beautiful company around you. And if they're not here now, they'll be coming soon. And I feel like that's what you've been going back and forth about, you know. Maybe some of you know that you have a spark and you have an interest with this person. Um, and, you're, and you're tired of feeling alone for a lot of you. You're, you're, you're tired of that feeling and you're trying to make a decision on, you know, should I stay single or should I extend my cup to somebody else? you know, and vice versa, or someone's feeling that way about you, okay? And with the Sun card in the reverse, falling under the Two of Cups, I feel like you're just, there's a little bit of a hesitation here. There is something like, these two cards go together. The Two of Swords with the Sun in reverse, um, there is something about this person or this situation that makes you a little bit unhappy, that makes you like question the situation or question the person, which again, which is why you guys are, have really been taking your sweet time to, uh, you know, connect with this person in this two of cups, okay? So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of different energies going on here. Um, Libra, there's a lot going on here. But I, I feel like it's all, I feel like all of this is just like your own fears and your own insecurities. I f I'm feeling like you could easily remove the blindfold. There's no one there, there's nobody there, um, you know, tying that blindfold onto, onto her in this, in this card. She could easily just take one of those swords whoosh, and cut the blindfold off. And I feel like you guys are choosing to keep the blinders on, but why? 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 I think it's because the person in the Two of Cups, you're afraid that they're not going to truly make you happy. I'm hearing don't settle. Don't settle, Libra. Don't settle for if this is not your true love. Don't settle because you do feel lonely or you do feel like you've been pushed out in the cold. Yes, your two of cups is here, but I think you guys are doing a very wise thing of taking your sweet time. Make sure this is something that you really, really want. And for those of you that this is not a love reading for, you know, this is just you really trying to figure out which way you wanna go. You know, are you really looking to better yourself? Are you looking for healing? Um, that sort of thing. Are you really working on, you know, Five of Pentacles talks about rapid change. Um, pe uh, pentacles are your earthly possessions, your finances, your, your income, that sort of thing. But also just abundance overall. You know, your, your abundance in spirituality. Like some of you guys have just been a little bit tapped out of that recently. Um, and it's time to get tapped back in. And I feel like that's going to make the sun card go in the upright position. Okay? And I feel like that's going to also help you take the blinders off. Some of you guys are, are blinded by that feeling of wanting to be with somebody. Like maybe it's not the person that you want. 
but it's like the 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 feeling of of having a partner. I hope that makes sense. Okay. First of all, you these three cards fell out together. Um, Libra, swords, swords, swords. This is definitely your energy. This is definitely a lot of mental energy going on in your mind right now. With the king of swords, we're going to talk about him. That's your outcome. That's going to be how you're going to wrap up the month going, um, going into October. But with the three of swords and the eight of swords here, um, you know, three of swords, yeah, you're coming out of some kind of pain. There's something that you've gone through and experienced here with the three of swords that has given you a reason to feel heartbroken or feel, or, you know, I'm just hearing alone, like you feel alone. Um, but you guys are, are going to be coming out of that. The three of um, the three of swords in the reverse is really, really great because, um, you guys are recognizing the pain. You're recognizing what's happened to you in the past. And that's another reason why you're just taking your sweet time on this because your heart is your heart is so precious and it's so big. Libra, you guys just extend your heart to everybody. Again, I've told you guys this before, like you're you're the person that people run to to go like spill everything to that people go and cry on your shoulder you know they they come to you and they just like unload everything not like in a bad way just because you're so trusting and you're so open and you just have these like huge huge hearts and i just you know i admire you guys for that but sometimes with that energy it'll it can make you feel like this it can make you feel like the person and the eight of swords but the thing about this card is this is you you've put yourself there you've let sometimes you guys have let too many people or too many situations take a hold of you and it's really clogged up your mind and really made you feel like a whole bunch of different ways so stop that <laughs> And I mean that from a loving heart, like truly. Um, but again, you guys ending with the um, with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is you guys. Is is you guys, Libra? Um, he's very intuitive. And again, if you're a female watching, this is just the masculine energy that's showing up here. Um, you know, it can be male or female. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just the energy. Um, I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are just going to be standing in your power and that's going to really help you make a decision about which way you want to go. Do you want to work more on yourself or do you want to rush into something that you're not really thinking about? The person here on this two of cups might not be the right person for you. Yes, it's a beautiful card, and I know a lot of you want that bond and want that relationship really bad, but what about the relationship that you have with yourself? What about that? You're sitting pretty over here as the king, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you really need to focus on that. Again, we're in the Aries full moon, all about the self. It's all about you right now. What path are you on? What are your dreams? What are your goals, Libra? So make sure you take the time. Make sure you take the time to figure that out because you guys are coming out of some kind of pain, a loss, heartbreak, someone who's hurt you in the past. Um, and they've put you in this position. Not they have, you have, because you guys might have let too many people put their problems on your shoulders and it's been too much of a burden. And even though all these people wanna to talk to you and tell you about their life, it still makes you feel empty sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's all about you. I love you guys so much. You Libras, y'all are always like, y'all are just so sweet. 
but I think it's really time for you to really tap into the King of Swords energy here, which is, again, why I wanted to show it to you one more time to wrap up the reading and wrap up the, the month going into October because I feel like you guys need to take a look at the sword. Like, just because you guys are gentle, sweet characters who, like, really, really, really think about what you say before it comes out, which is a great quality to have. At the same time, don't be afraid to put your sword up against certain people that are just really taking up too much of your energy. Okay? All right, you guys, let me pull an oracle card for you guys to end the reading. I just got this new deck. And I hope you guys like it. I love the artwork in here. Number 24, focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. So beautiful. Make sure that, I feel like this is, again, a sign for you to take some time back for yourself. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life and also in each and every situation in your life. And yes, like I said, people love you. They come to you. Excuse me. They come to you with their problems. Like you guys are just like a lot of you guys are probably therapists and counselors and psychologists in like real life. <laughs> and that's great because you guys are the best listeners ever. But I feel like this card is asking you to also take a look at yourself. Take a look at the love that you have for yourself and pull strength from that. Because at the end of the day, you've always got you. And I don't want you guys to ever feel lonely or lost or anything like that. Because you're not. You're always doing the right thing. You're always on the right path. Okay? All right, Libra. I'm sending you guys all my love. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I love my Libras. Um, so yeah, please don't forget to subscribe if you've been watching my videos and you like them or give a thumbs up, that sort of thing. So again, I'm sending you guys my love and I'll see you in the next video.